our school is the club, so if you want to make drinks, head up the now. Woo! Come out for a drink after my tour in Hanoi. It is crackers. And the drinks are really strong. Stop for a bad meal on the way home. I'm looking for Train Street. I think I'm close. What do you reckon? <laughs> Found it. Now I've got to work out a way of how to get up there. So I walked up a little ramp because this lady was going, coffee, 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 up to the train track. And when I said I didn't want coffee, she went, I just want to walk along the track. She's like, this is just for my coffee shop. <laughs> so I found this lady and she says that I can come with her and get something to eat. So I'm now back where I started when the lady said no. <laughs> to be able to sit at a restaurant on the train tracks, you have to be invited up by one of the owners. Okay, I am now following said lady down the train track. So my advice would be, Go with somebody to their restaurant, buy a drink, something to eat. When you've finished, then you can walk along the train tracks. And if you want to stop somewhere else, then you're free to do so. It looks like this is where I'm eating. Well, this is good. I've got a passion fruit smoothie and I'm sat right on the train tracks. I have no idea when or if the next train is coming past, but it's nice to sit down. It was quite a walk. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. Look at that. That's really nice. So the idea is, is once you've bought something, I think you can walk along the tracks, but you have to be invited in. Although I am thinking I might want to stop for a beer. Here we go, a nice bowl of pho, pho, pho. <laughs> I can't say it, but it looks lovely while I'm waiting for the train to go by. Well, that was fun. It was the longest train in the world. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's a little wet this morning. My last morning at Mad Monkey, and I'm not gonna break with tradition. Left Mad Monkey. I'm really sad to leave it, really. It's been such a lovely stay. I've really, really enjoyed it. The staff and everybody were just so lovely and I'm now in a taxi headed off to the airport to fly back to Chiang Mai as obviously my visa was only for 15 days so I've got to go back but it'll be nice to get back and hopefully once I sort out me visa then I'll be able to come back for another visit to Vietnam. Just having my bags wrapped together so that at least when they go through it'll be a bit easier to sort them this costs about two pounds bag drop done now I've just got to go and find security i have no idea where that is okay i was walking away from it how can i get lost in an airport it's me quite easily security done i now have about two hours and 45 minutes until my flight so i'm gonna go and find something to eat something to drink and sit by the gate there we go, my Air Asia flight has just arrived and I will be heading off to Chiang Mai. I think I'm the last one to board. My bag has just been put on the plane, it's all good. I've made it through customs. I'm now in the taxi on my way to my hotel and boy am I looking forward to this. <laughs> I am not even gonna tell you how good it feels to be back at this hotel, wow. 
breakfast on the first day. This was 100 baht. I've come to meet Kendall and Tony for a coffee. I met them on my flight over to Vietnam. It'd be really nice to catch back up with them again. They also have a YouTube channel and I will leave a link to that down in the description. Oh my goodness, this place is beautiful. It's so nice. I'm gonna look forward to this. I haven't had a nice caramel latte in ages. Nice. So when we got together, Tony asked whether he could interview me for his channel. So if you want to watch the full video, I will leave a link to their channel down in the description. All right, here we go. So we're staring right there. Okay. All right, in two, one. Hello and welcome back to the channel. What's the name of your YouTube channel? It's Nan with a backpack. Nan with a backpack. Thank you very much for talking with us today now. And thank I always end this by saying thank you and Ty. And that is Kap Kun Kap. That's good. Yay. Excellent. I've just said goodbye to Kendall and Tony and they've dropped me here at the Central Plaza. So I'm going to go in and have a little look around the shop this afternoon. Oh wow, look at that. There's some big fish in there. I'm in one of the electric scooters again. They're crackers. Got back from my lovely morning and the fairies have been to my room. I just love it when that happens. <laughs> so today is Saturday and this is the street that they will close down at five o'clock for the market. It's Bedlam now and it's only half past two in the afternoon. The road has now been closed so everybody is setting up properly. I am so excited. I want to thank my friends for helping me to find a restaurant that does English Sunday roast dinner. I've made it to the restaurant and I've just ordered a roast chicken dinner. Lovely jubbly. Oh my word, there is a very happy bunny here. I've got broccoli, I've got Brussels sprouts. We will ignore the carrots. Oh, perfect. That's it, I'm done. Can't eat another bite. It was really, really nice though. And now I am in a grab on my way back to the airport mall to go and watch the new Indiana Jones movie. Oh wow. I do quite like it when it rains here. Good morning everybody. I'm having a one of those mornings. So I walked all the way down to 7-Eleven to draw some money out of the ATM just to realize that I'd left my purse with my card back in my room. So I've had to walk 10 minutes there, found out my mistake, walked 10 minutes back, and now I'm walking back again to go and get some money and then on to find the post office. <laughs> oh well, you can never do too much walking. The bag that I took on the loop, this one, I can't carry three backpacks but I don't want to get rid of it yet. So I'm going to send that back as well. Um, and there's a few other knickknacks that I've got, which I'm not using. So they're all going back. I've been walking around for a while trying to find the post office. It's inside a electrical shop, weirdly. No wonder I kept walking past going, it's got to be around here somewhere. <laughs> See, think outside the box. And there it is post office in an electrical shop all packaged up ready to go it's official that's it packages posted let's just pray that they get there hey <laughs> i'm walking to the center and here's another beautiful temple I've walked quite a long way away from where I'm staying and I've managed to get as far as the Chiang Mai gate. So I'm going to walk up. It's a lot more touristy. There are an awful lot of pigeons around here. It looks a bit like what happens is you stand there to have your photograph taken and then people frighten the birds so that they fly up so you get a photograph with the birds. I think I would freak. I'd be like... <laughs> Here's another beautiful temple. Looking around Chiang Mai, there are so many temples here. It looks like there's a little girlie having a photo shoot right there. 
come down to the restaurant and I'm not going to say the name of it because I can't but it looks really nice and I've just ordered a pizza I'll show you when it arrives this is really good look at that pizza I gave it a good go but it's beaten me I'll eat the other half for dinner tonight this place is amazing it's got a river running through it I didn't realize it was only when I came in to pay that I realized that it has a whole river I'm so glad that I left my umbrella back in the room. <laughs> They're all just setting up for the night food market. I've probably got about a 15 minute walk back to where I'm staying and it is really raining. Oh my word, give me a break. Look at these puppy dogs. Look at them, how cute. 